Imagine a world where one can receive travel information at any time or any place, where one can travel with ease, comfort, and confidence. Imagine a world where, if you wanted to, the travel information system knows your whereabouts and your travel needs. A system that knows and can deliver to you all possible travel options and even your personal travel preferences. Today, increased car use has led to high levels of traffic congestion and pollution, causing safety and environmental problems. Using public transport rather than private car, however, has the potential to balance the need to travel with the need to improve quality of life. One of the ways this can be achieved is through the provision of better and personalized public transport information. If we can get people to use public transport, then we'll reduce the number of cars on the road and reduce congestion and reduce environmental pollution. As things stand, however, travel information on public transport is not always at hand and up to date. The provision of information needs to be better customized, more intelligent and more accessible. Emerging technologies can help us to solve the problem by bringing us towards a pervasive computing era where many computers serve one person. In the transport domain, pervasive computing can all together open up new ways to improve the traveler information climate. At the moment, one can plan a journey by several means by reading timetables, examining road maps, making telephone inquiries, or searching on the internet. In the future, however, travel information systems will be aware of users' contacts and instantly offer detailed real-time information, which is both accurate and personalized. Things like wireless sensors, um, uh, mobile devices such as PDAs and, and advanced mobile phones which will always connect the individual with um, the information networks to provide them with travel information both before they travel and whilst they're travelling. Based on the weather conditions and life information of transport networks, the system will automatically calculate travel costs, journey times, and the amount of CO2 emissions for different travel options. It will then provide solutions to offset the emission. And upon the user's request, detailed and precise information of public transport will be given. The user can then decide the best way to travel. When on the move, you will receive personalized support. When works along the street, PDA at hand, the PDA starts beeping. Rain is forecasting 10 minutes time. If you wait at the bus stop and take the yellow bus home, you can avoid it. This service can even be tailored to meet the specific needs of older or disabled people. What we want to know is how people will perceive the future travel information system and whether the system will encourage people to make more use of public transport. In order to find out answers of these questions, three methods are used to collect data. The first is, upon reading a textual narrative, having people complete a questionnaire. Their perceptions of the future travel information systems are entirely based on their own understanding and imagination. The second method, however, is upon reading the same material, having people join an organized group discussion. Their perceptions in this case are influenced by the interactions with other participants. The final method is using immersive video to construct a prototype of the future travel information system 
in a virtual reality lab. Normally, testing is conducted using an artificial environment. This research, however, makes use of three video cameras to capture synchronized footage. Footage is added and manipulated on the three screen to create a sense of being at a point in space and time. One stands in front of the screens to interact with the simulated system and then completes the same questionnaire as in the previous two methods. User perceptions are reviewed on the basis of their first-hand experiences. When cannot predict the future, we either shape our future or the future will shape us. Using new technologies, this innovative research undertaken at the University of Newcastle upon Tyne is emphasizing more than ever an optimistic vision of the future. This is progress. This is the way forward. This is the perpetual game of development.